Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to talk about MIDI preprocessor inside Camelot Pro. So let's start. So I'm at a song level, so where I have set a Sound for more set list. And I've already played with some songs. Let me deactivate this transport uh, view first of all. So let's um, create a new song and let's call it um why not demo two very very authentic but it doesn't matter let's double click on it okay i like to rename the first scene to something like intro okay and let's create a second scene as well from scratch and let's call that main and press enter let's click done now let's double click on the intro scene okay and um, let's uh, click plus here on oh, scene level. You already know how to do that from scratch. And let's create a first layer, which we are going to call piano. So let's click on the plus sign, instrument and devices. For simplicity, we are going to use an AU plugins. So software instrument, all categories. And let's bring up a very simple grand piano. Okay, so let's click here on the piano session and let's activate uh, my MPK Mini 3 from Akai. Okay, let's test it. <laughs> okay, that works, nothing really special, but um, here we go. Let's click on the plus sign and this time let's click on preprocessors. I showed you before in another tutorial how to use the MIDI layer connectors. This time we're going to click on the MIDI processes. We're going to select all different categories or brands. And then from here, let's start with something simple like the Step Poly Arp unit. Now it's loaded and let's try. So I'm just holding down a note. Let's, let's try again, for example, AC. Okay, so what's happening here? I'm going to have MIDI input coming through my um, Akai MPK Mini, which are going into this MIDI preprocessor, which is an ARP unit, which is sending the MIDI messages to the Grand Piano Audio unit. So let's click on to this step of Poly ARP unit and let's maximize the screen, like so. Let's uh, load the preset, something like, for example, these free or freestyle patterns. Quite complicated, as you can see. Let's exit that, click down, and let's try again. Let's press only one key, like I see on the MIDI controller. So, as you can see, this is a nice and simple example of how to use a MIDI preprocessor. Okay, but let's change this a little bit. Let's make it more interesting. So, let's click on the Step Poly ARP unit and, and let's remove it now let's move to the next scene like so the main scene let's click plus to add another layer and let's call these again piano okay and let's click on proceed then let's create another layer from scratch and, and let's call these synth and let's click proceed now on the synth we add an instrument software instrument and let's add um, something like uh, for example Lagrange oops I think we just pass it I moved too quickly uh, oops where is it there it is okay okay let's connect uh, on the MPK mini 3 to that Lagrange and let's play <laughs> Okay, so you know the default sound for that one. Now let's add again on the first layer that uh, grand piano which we used uh, on the other scene. And let's choose again the same grand piano we used there, like so. Now let's add another preprocessor, a MIDI processor, all brands. But this time we're going to choose Euclidean from Four Pockets, which is really a nice app. But let's click on it and let's open the user interface and let's uh, let's maximize it now let's select a key like for example c 
and the scale minor and then let's click on randomize we'll say no scale no chord and we click randomize and now let's click play <laughs> Let's try something different, maybe it's too short. Try again, let's try this one. Okay, this will do. Now let's select host sync, which means it will wait for the host to um, trigger Euclidean. As you can hear at the moment, there's nothing playing. Now let's go back to the timeline. Let's add the scene, right? The first one at position zero, okay? Then the second one, main at position, uh, why not, uh, 10. And then let's add again the first scene intro at position 20 in terms of 20 second. Okay, and let's click done. Let's zoom in a little bit, like so. Let's click at the beginning, let's click play. So now we are playing the piano. And then you will hear as I move to the main, I'm going to play the Lagrange instrument. Similar transition, which is really nice. And then it's going to go back to the piano. Okay, perfect. So let's click uh, the stop button. Now you might just say that's great, but I didn't hear to play the the Euclidean MIDI pre processor playing. Well, let's double click on main. Okay. So the reason that it's not playing is because we don't have the tempo and sync setting. So let's activate this. You click on off there and you say send clock and then you just activate it. Now it will start to play straight away. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate it and then I'm going to move back to my first scene, the intro, okay? Okay, as you can hear, it stopped, okay? Which is nice. So now, this time, let's try again. So from the beginning. Okay, let's click stop. I hope uh, you found this uh, introduction on how to use uh, the MIDI processor useful. And um, of course, uh, double click on main. <laughs> click on tempo and sync and you can stop that. You have other option, of course, to continue from where it was or to start with um, from the beginning or set it to none. And of course, you have additional settings as well here for the time signature, the tempo. And you can also enable a, a metronome, which is nice. In order to hear that metronome, you need to select the channel, like in this case, main output, like so, and then play. Okay, hopefully it makes sense. Okay, see you at the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.